Naturally occurring nickel is composed of five stable isotopes, 58 Ni, 60 Ni, 61 Ni, 62 Ni and 64 Ni with 58 Ni being the most abundant. 58 Ni may decay by double beta plus decay to 58 Fe. 26 radioisotopes have been characterized with the most stable being 59 Ni with a half-life of 76,000 years, 63 Ni with a half-life of 100.1 years, and 56 Ni with a half-life of 6.077 days. All of the remaining radioactive isotopes have half-lives that are less than 60 hours and the majority of these have half-lives that are less than 30 seconds. This element also has one metastate, isotopes of nickel. The five stable and 26 unstable isotopes of nickel range in atomic weight from 48 Ni to 78 Ni, and include nickel 48, discovered in 1999, is the most neutron-poor nickel isotope known. With 28 protons and 20 neutrons, 48 Ni is doubly magic and therefore unusually stable. Nickel 56 is produced in large quantities in type Iowa supernovae and the shape of the light curve of these supernovae display characteristic time scales corresponding to the decay of nickel 56 to cobalt 56 and then to iron 56. Nickel-58 is the most abundant isotope of nickel, making up 68.077% of the natural abundance. Possible sources include electron capture from copper-58 and EC plus P from zinc-59. Nickel-59 is a long-lived cosmogenic radionuclide with a half-life of 76,000 years. 59Ni has found many applications in isotope geology. 59Ni has been used to date the terrestrial age of meteorites and to determine abundances of extraterrestrial dust in ice and sediment. Nickel-60 is the daughter product of the extinct radionuclide 60 Fe. Because 60 Fe had such a long half-life, its persistence in materials in the solar system at high enough concentrations may have generated observable variations in the isotopic composition of 60 Ni. Therefore, the abundance of 60 Ni present in extraterrestrial material may provide insight into the origin of the solar system and its early history, very early history. Unfortunately, nickel isotopes appear to have been heterogeneously distributed in the early solar system. Therefore, so far, no actual age information has been attained from 16 Ni excesses. Other sources may also include beta decay from cobalt-60 and electron capture from copper-60. Nickel-61 is the only stable isotope of nickel with a nuclear spin, which makes it useful for studies by EPR spectroscopy. Nickel-62 has the highest binding energy per nucleon of any isotope for any element when including the electron shell in the calculation. More energy is released forming this isotope than any other, although fusion can form heavier isotopes. For instance, 240 California atoms can fuse to form 80 Kr plus 4 electrons, liberating 77 keV per nucleon. But reactions leading to the iron-nickel region are more probable as they release more energy per baryon. Nickel-64 is another stable isotope of nickel. Possible sources include beta decay from cobalt-64, and electron capture from copper-64. Nickel-78 is the element's heaviest isotope and is believed to have an important involvement in supernova, nucleosynthesis of elements heavier than iron. Relative atomic mass 58.6934 Table Carat abbreviations IT Isomeric transition Carat bold for stable isotopes Carat believed to decay by beta plus beta plus to 58 Fe with a half-life over 7 times 1020 years Carat highest binding energy per nucleon of all nuclides Notes values marked hash are not purely derived from experimental data, but at least partly from systematic trends. Spins with weak assignment arguments are enclosed in parentheses. Uncertainties are given in concise form in parentheses after the corresponding last digits. 
Nuclide masses are given by IUPAP Commission on Symbols, Units, Nomenclature, Atomic Masses and Fundamental Constants. Isotope abundances are given by IUPAC Commission on Isotopic Abundances and Atomic Weights.